right. The only comic who cared enough to wear a tuxedo jacket. You're welcome. That's right. Excellent, excellent job. Very funny. You guys ready for your next comic? Oh, we need a little more energy, guys. Come on. This guy is a funny, funny guy, and for a lot of us Richmond comics, he's pretty much our uh, our only avenue to the uh, to the news and what's going on in the world. So, uh, give it up for Richmond's own CNN, Mr. Chris Martin. Doing stand up the other week in Petersburg, Virginia, at a restaurant called Wabi Sabi. Last time anybody bombed that badly in Petersburg, Virginia was in 1864. Union Army blew a 155-foot crater in the Confederate line, killed 300 men. Texas Board of Education wanted to rename the slave trade the Atlantic Triangular Trade. Turns out the ovens at Auschwitz were actually tanning beds. <laughs> People in Mississippi are always confused when they go to a Harry Potter movie. They think they're seeing a film about wizards. <laughs> the Gores have broken up after 40 years of marriage. Final straw was when Al stuck a fork in Tipper's hand while trying to get the last slice of bacon at breakfast. If Al gets any fatter, they're gonna tow him out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico and lower him on top of the BP oil well blowout. <laughs> oil spill is out of control. It's so bad the other day my goldfish coughed up a tar ball. I was changing the oil in my car and I found a dead pelican. <laughs> BP's tried just about everything to soak up the spill. I think it's time for them to take off the gloves and unleash the chia pets. I used to listen to Old, I used to watch old Swayze, but now I just listen to Young Jeezy. My favorite newscaster used to be Juju Chang, but now it's Buddhist Buddhist Goldberg. I may be thinking outside the box, but I think the phrase jump the shark has jumped the shark. I want everybody to say Barnes and Noble Nookie Reader repeatedly and rapidly. <laughs> Oh, you're a bunch of robots. <laughs> okay, so General Motors is high, as a new as a psychiatrist, new member of their board of directors makes sense. People who buy GM cars are still crazy, but at least they understand why they're doing it. I'm so tired of those "you might be a redneck" riffs. Those "you might be a redneck" jokes. I'm starting a new riff, a new meme based on horror movies. You might be a zombie if you need brains. Or you might be Sarah Palin. <laughs> you might be a werewolf if you have more back hair than Ed Asner. <laughs> you might be a vampire if you suck harder than Dane Cook. <laughs> in 2014, the Super Bowl will be held in New Jersey. Losing team will be buried underneath the 40-yard line. <laughs> See, Jimmy Hoffa told me that joke would kill. Thank you. Appreciate it. My name is Chris Martin.